Hi guys, so what we're going to be looking at today is how to draw bonding diagrams for things which covalently bond. And it is the non-metals which covalently bond, so things which are on the right hand side of the periodic table. And they covalently bond so that their outer electron shells get to a full or stable arrangement. So for example, boron, which has three electrons in its outer shell, would bond so that it had an electron arrangement which was similar to neon. So it wants to fill its full outer, its outer shell. Right now it has three electrons in its outer shell. It really wants eight so that it's nice and stable. So the first example that we use is hydrogen. So hydrogen's formula is H2 because it is diatomic. And hydrogen, if we draw a nice outer shell for hydrogen, and we'll pop H in the middle so we know that it's hydrogen that we're talking about. Hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. And I'm going to circle this on the data booklet so that you can see this. So hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. I'm going to represent that one electron as a little cross on hydrogen's electron shell there. So we've got hydrogen, electron shell, with one electron in its outer shell. In order for hydrogen to get to a stable outer electron arrangement and to become like helium, which has two electrons in its outer shell, hydrogen will need to bond with another hydrogen. And so what we do is we draw another circle which overlaps the first one. We draw another hydrogen atom in there. And we see that this hydrogen atom is going to donate one electron. So now my first hydrogen atom has donated one electron. My second hydrogen atom has also donated one electron. And they now have two electrons in their bond. And that is a covalent bond. So hydrogen makes one covalent bond to another hydrogen and a molecule of hydrogen. If we try a more difficult example, so let's look at ammonia. If I look at nitrogen, nitrogen has five electrons in its outer shell. five electrons in its outer shell. Therefore, we're going to draw our circle. We're going to put an N to show that this circle is the outer electron shell of nitrogen. We said that nitrogen has five electrons in its outer shell. And the way that we draw five electrons is that we place the first four electrons, one at the top, one at the bottom and one at either side so that they, all four of those electrons sit on their own. And then if the atom has more than four outer electrons, we start to pair them up. So I'm going to pair up nitrogen's electrons at the top. Now we know from the chemical formula that nitrogen has three hydrogen atoms in its molecule as well. So what we are going to do is we're going to draw three circles around each of nitrogen's unpaired electrons. One, two, three. And those three circles are going to represent the three hydrogen atoms which are in ammonia. Now hydrogen has one electron in its outer shell. So we will represent that one electron in hydrogen's outer shell with three dots. So now that we can see that nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight electrons in its outer shell now. And that is the same electron arrangement as its nearest noble gas, which is neon.
it also has eight electrons in its outer shell. So it's happy because it's stable. Hydrogen now has two electrons in its outer shell. And it's happy because it's got the same electron arrangement as its closest noble gas, which is helium. So we can see that each electron is paired up. And what we have made is three covalent bonds. Each consisting of two shared electrons. A third example to look at. A third example we could look at would be water. Water has the chemical formula of H2O. So I'm going to draw my first circle representing the outer electron shell of oxygen. I go to my data booklet. I check how many outer electrons oxygen has. It has six. Therefore, on my diagram, I am drawing the first four outer electrons of oxygen unpaired, followed by the next two outer electrons of oxygen paired up. So now oxygen has six unpaired electrons, just like it says in the data booklet. We know that a molecule of water is made up of oxygen and two hydrogen atoms. Therefore, for the two unpaired electrons that oxygen has, we are going to add an outer electron shell for the hydrogens. And we know that hydrogen has one unpaired electron. And it is going to share its one unpaired electron with oxygen. Oxygen now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outer electrons. Hydrogen has two outer electrons. Both atoms now have a full outer shell. Oxygen, the full outer shell similar to neons, and hydrogen a full outer shell similar to heliums. So now they are happy. For our final example, example four, we're going to look at carbon tetrachloride. Now, I'm going to draw my first outer electron shell for carbon. I'm going to look at my periodic table. Carbon has four outer electrons in its electron shell. One, two, three, four. I know that in a molecule of carbon tetrachloride, there are four chlorine atoms. And so I'm going to draw my four chlorine atoms in, pairing up with each unpaired electron of carbon. One, two, three, four. And my final step is to draw the outer electrons of chlorine. Now chlorine has seven outer electrons. So we can draw them one, two, three, four. And we now know that this is now a pair, so we can't add any more electrons down here. We've only drawn four for chlorine, but we know it has seven. So the other three have to pair up with chlorine's other electrons. And we can do this for all of the chlorine atoms in the molecule until all of the chlorine atoms have eight outer electrons. Now carbon has eight outer electrons like its nearest noble gas, neon, and chlorine has eight outer electrons like its nearest noble gas, argon. This is a bonding diagram for carbon tetrachloride. 
If you guys need any more examples, please just email me or comment on the task that I've put on Google Classrooms and I will do more examples for you for practice. If you try the examples which are in the PowerPoint and you want me to mark them, send them over and I will mark them and give you any feedback you need. Have a lovely Monday, guys.